So here's practice companion D for Foggy Mountain Breakdown. This is a good clip to play it at. You should have it here um, before you start working on with other portions of the song. So get it down fast and clean and then go ahead and go on with the other portions because this is something that you can just keep repeating over and over again. You don't have to throw in anything else to it. If you want to go faster than this, just go to the other uh, uh, video I did with the lesson uh, introduction and that'll have a little bit faster version than this, but this is good. So practice with this. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> What you do whoops and you can hear that's a very sensitive microphone I just hit there hope your ears are all right what you're gonna want to make sure that you do is uh, practice and get that down first before you start trying to find more stuff about the song and, and add this high part or that a lot of banjo players make the mistake of memorizing huge long portions of information and not getting down uh, what they have perfectly so you want to make sure that you get this down as well as you can and if you practice a lot, I don't practice banjo at all. I don't think I practiced banjo since 1980 uh, because I don't play that much anymore. I play guitar mostly, but I, I used to play banjo a lot. And I, I practiced about eight, nine hours a day when I was a kid. And that was my trick was to make sure that I got whatever I did down perfectly before I went on. And then it, it became a lot easier to play uh, at a professional level because I wasn't um, just memorizing whole songs and all these different chromatic riffs and, and all this information and then just playing it as if you know I spent a long time memorizing uh, a bunch of information instead of a long time memorizing a very small amount of information that I practice diligently that's what you want to do little pieces perfect them then move on and once you've moved on you can go ahead and play everything with a little bit more finesse and a little bit more uh, attack and in, in, in good timing and make sure that you've got um, a good strong attack with your right hand too. You don't want to be wimpy in this stuff. You want to make sure you're hitting your notes cleanly. As we talked about in earlier lessons, we want to make sure we're picking up with our first and middle finger and not like this. And our thumbs coming down so they don't get in the way of each other. So make sure that you get a good clean sound of this and then you can go ahead and move on to other banjo songs. Alright, talk to you later.